It's no secret you can't win championship without players, talented players who love the game, the game and love to compete. I've been blessed to manage some of the best players in the game. I've always tried to look at players as people first. Fellas, you have taught me to look beyond impossible, to never say die, and never stop believing, and never, never give up on what you're trying to accomplish, and torture is better than going home. Now, when, when I look at these players, I'm just reminded how good I've had it. I think of those nail-biting ninth innings with the beard on the mound. Brian Wilson, I can thank you for his first step. Tim Lenson's got the three. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 150 pounds soaking wet, putting the fear of God into the closing hands. And I think of Matt King's perfect game. I think of Paul Sandoval. Three home runs again in the World Series. I think of Edgar's home run in Texas. Yeah. And nobody loves those Buster Hugs. Yeah. And I think of watching Bob do something I don't think we'll ever see in the game again. The fellas, you challenge me. You've entertained me with your diverse personalities. <laughs> And you made me be in awe of your talent at times. Managing you guys has been one of the greatest joys of my life. Thank you for making me a better manager and a better person. Thank you. Let me be honest. This game can be difficult. Fortunate to have the love and support from incredible family. My brothers, Joe and Mark, and my sister, our good luck charm in the postseason, have always been there to celebrate our success and be there to pick me up on the losses. My boys, Greg and Brett, they never complained about the games I missed or the time I missed. Guys, I couldn't be prouder of the men you have become, the wives you have chosen, and the grandchildren that you have brought into our family. <laughs> then there's a rock and anchor of our fam, our family. Him that's been on this journey for 41 years, or 44 years. <laughs> 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 But in my time as a manager, I've seen her be, befriend players' wives, celebrate the births of their children, and help them out during tough times. Kim, thank you for your unselfishness, your willingness to sacrifice, and being a great partner on this journey. I couldn't imagine doing it without you. Speak to the fans for a moment. We play for you. Without you, there's no baseball. There's no business, no television, no talk radio, no chance to compete out here. When I think of those years that we didn't come through for you, I apologize for disappointing you. 
But when I think of our championship year, I'm filled with gratitude because we did it together. Yes. It's difficult to put it into words the impact that you've had on me personally. You guys brought so much love to this team. And I can't tell you how many times we walked through this ball, ballpark and your energy transferred to me and these players. You made a difference here. And whether it was in 10, 12, 14, or years we're trying to get our, our mojo back, you've always been faith, faithful and behind it. And I'll tell you, I never took for granted or tired of leaning on that rail and looking up and watching you pack this house. So, thank you for making this incredible journey. Journey here, thank you. Like any kid, my childhood dream was to play this game. Never my dreams. I think I'd be in it for 44 years. And this is what makes this moment so much more difficult. But to manage here with these players in this city, with you fans, has been one of the greatest blessings in my life. This place has enriched our lives with friendships, experiences, and memories beyond what words can express. So maybe I'll just echo the words of the great Lou Gehrig. I consider myself the luckiest man on the face of this earth. to take his final lap around this ballpark that he has called home for 13 seasons. The glory that was Rome is of another day. I've been turbulent and forgotten in Manhattan. I'm going home. <laughs> Thank you.